Hello, I'm Bob Gelfi. I'm the medical director at the BodyLogic MD of Sacramento office, and uh, we practice uh, anti-aging medicine. We uh, help people with hormone balance, with nutrition, with fitness, with weight loss, and we have a very rewarding practice there. Everybody who comes there is anxious to uh, learn how to take care of themselves better and to uh, and really participate in their in their health. Most of the people that we see have some hormonal imbalances and getting them to feel good and getting their hormones balanced so that they can actually have some motivation to tackle those other two problems which are fitness and nutrition which are really key and I actually tell them we can balance your hormones, we can get you in, in better shape from a medical perspective but if you don't motivate yourself and if you aren't uh, equally uh, motivated to take care of your nutrition and your fitness it won't matter you're just wasting your money. Nutrition probably plays as big a role as anything in, in our practice and yet it's the hardest thing to actually communicate to. It requires discipline. It requires a tremendous change on people's part. And it's not like we follow them home. They can, they can leave our office and go right to McDonald's if they want to. So a lot of it is their uh, desire to actually act on the information that we give them. The other thing that's true is that adults my age, adults, middle-aged adults, uh, there's almost no way for them to, to actually be their appropriate weight and healthy weight without exercise. We try to emphasize to our patients that, that, that really they need to be able to work themselves into exercising an hour every day. And a lot of them think, well, you know, I really can't do that. Uh, I just don't have time. Uh, but they all have time. And so we have to actually uh, have, help them reprioritize how important it is for them to exercise. Because if they don't exercise, no matter how good their hormone balance is and how good they're eating, they're not going to be at their optimal health and probably not even close. The predominant number of patients uh, are people with hormonal symptoms. That's really the, the draw to our practice, I think. And uh, I would say the, the predominant number of them are in their, in their 40s to early 50s, and really predominantly women, although we see a number of men too. The issues that they come with, like sleeplessness, one of the top issues that we see people for, like weight gain, probably in the top two or three of issues that we see people from. Hot flashes, moodiness, irritability, those are symptoms that are really dragging them down to that point. And uh, a lot of times they've been to their, their regular physician who's put them on, a, on an antidepressant of some sort and really just they've given them the, the 10 minutes that they got coming for their, for their evaluation, written a fairly quick prescription, sent them on their way, and it doesn't help them. And, uh, and, and not only does it not help them, but the patient knows it's not going to help them going in because they know they're not depressed and they just know something isn't right. So it, it's always fun to see those patients because we know we're going to get them better. And, and that, and that kind of helps us say, listen, we'll take care of this part. Uh, over, the, over the next few months, we're going to dial you in and, and get you feeling better. But you're going to need to use that as a springboard for the rest of your life. I was having um, really bad periods, worse than I think I've ever had, lots of cramping, and uh, it was just really, really bad cycles. So I went to my OBGYN first, and she said, I'm going to give you a dose of Seraphin. It's a very mild dose, and I'm like, that's not like an antidepressant, is it? She goes, no, not really, it's, it's Seraphin. I said, okay. So, so I started taking it, and I felt a little better, and my, um, my cycles got a little better, but I still was still feeling tired and kind of moody and what have you. So. I was doing some research on um, hormones and you know I figured something has to be going on as you get older. So I found Body Logic. So I went and I started to explain to them kind of, you know, I work out a lot, I, you know, eat pretty healthy, I'm on the go all the time, but these were some of my symptoms. And then I also told them about what my gynecologist recommended and um, I said, you know, and she said it's not like an antidepressant or anything and he looked at it and he goes, oh no, it's Prozac. So it was a real kind of a shocker. I was like, oh, and he goes, you probably don't need it. You're probably not depressed in, in, in that type of way. So I got my hormones checked and they were a little out of balance. And um, so we together, we worked on a plan, but it was just enough to really optimize and um, kind of get me over that hump to sleep better and to feel better and to um, you know, not feel as moody, feel more myself again. If you'd like to learn more about me and my practice, you can go to BodyLogicMD dot com and all the information about my practice and the things that we'd like to do for you are online and available.